Okay, so this morning we're going to be uh, commissioning a uh, XLT 3240 gas oven. Um, you can see here we've already prepared the services. We've got a double socket there. One of them is going to be for the new oven. Um, and we have the uh, gas pipe work already in place with a solenoid valve and uh, isolation valves there with the quick release uh, fittings at the bottom. And this is the oven. Uh, the oven's actually just been uh, um, installed and just assembled here, but we're actually going to commission it. So you can see this is a 3240 single oven. It's also got an optional two piece under shelf that's been fitted to this. Um, and uh, end stop crumb trays um, and we've also got the uh, um, got service drawer there with the full operation and instruction manuals on that in, in fitted in there you notice at the back there there's some uh, warning tags it's got to be installed correctly um, and part of the installation kit that we've got here you'll need a, um, a grommet so you'll need one of those grommets and locking nut. We actually fit a curly cord, a black one, and um, a three pin UK plug is needed. Uh, we actually fit an anti-surge unit so it actually lights up neon when it's power's going through it. And uh, we've got a Dormont yellow quick release valve there with the um, uh, restraining chain few tools there the engineer is going to use, paste, wrenches, screwdrivers and we're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is just fit the electrical cable. Um, you've got the electrical, electrical control box at the back of the oven. It's secured with four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom. The cover's been removed and then um, you can see the bottom there you've got um, various uh, connectors. Charge is going to fit the grommet on there and the locking nut. And you can see the supply there. You've got US wiring. So black is, uh, black is live, white is neutral, and the green is earth. So you can also see it with the fix in there. L for live, N for neutral, and then you've got your earth. So you can see all, all three supplies are now wired in and fitted and um, the cable is just going to be locked up tight. Nice and tight and then the uh, cover is going to go back on. And four screws applied and that's that all done. Next thing we're going to do, Shah's going to put the gas pipe on. He's just got to take off that um, nipple at the end of the uh, fitting. It's just got to come off, or maybe you want to use it, but we're not. We're going to screw straight into it. So that's just going to be removed. Uh, we've already got our gas pipe work sorted, and uh, our hose is all ready to go as well. So we've uh, put jointing compound on the pipe and uh, Shah's just tightening that up now. It's going to uh, fit the restraining chain and uh, the easiest way to do this is to use a 9 16th imperial screwdriver and we've removed one of the bolts from the back wall of the oven and we're going to put that straight back on there and thread that back on there and tighten that up. We're just drilling in the um Restraining chain. And so we fitted it to the oven. And then uh, 
going to fit that in there. It's going to fit the other end, so to secure it from uh, being pulled out of the uh, from being pulled forward uh, without the hose being disconnected. Restraining chains all fitted, nice and secure to the floor, and then the other end, which is removable, so you can take that off um, if you need to bring the appliance forward. It's put at the correct length so that you can't pull forward and pull the oven out. And, and Charles removed the uh, six screws through the back, through the front, and remove the lid. Flip that over. For any engineers, uh, the, on the back of the lid is the full wiring diagram. So everything is on there. Um, and Shah's also then going to put the oven in a, in a service position. And um, that uh, involves rem removing the four screws at the front and then putting the two rear ones through at the back. Note we've not put anything onto the electrics, so the oven's not wired in any way. So we've not actually wired into the... So make sure that it's isolated before you actually put the oven in a service position. It's quite easily done. So two of the screws, two of the top of the back, uh, uh, one of the bottom, and we just fix that. You'll notice that inside the oven, you've got this service note and the power supply to the actual switch is isolated. So this has to be removed. This just uh, is protection to make sure that somebody authorised is actually wiring this machine and, and commissioning it. And you just simply remove that tag and push them together. And then that's going to give us the power then for the switch now to get that in the operating mode. Um, you can see Shah's got this um, all ready now. The oven, of course, is all fully commissioned when it leaves the factory but we're also just going to check everything to make sure that um, everything is in, uh, in order. Okay. Our next explanation is uh, extraction, gas interlock, etc. When fitting any of these ovens, of course, you've got to put a canopy under it. So you can see that the canopy adequately covers the whole of the oven all the way across. Um, we've got our gas pipe work coming down there, painted yellow, our isolation valve, um, solenoid valve there, and coming through you've got the electrical supply and uh, everything is all ready. On here we've got our uh, explanation of what we have. So we're going to put our uh, extraction fan on. Um, we're also going to put our return air fan on and the gas interlock is actually going to be uh, switched on. This is just the power. So nothing is going to work until we uh, until we actually get all this going, we've got to push the reset button here and then the reset is just going to come on. So all the fans are on, etc. Push that and then the gas valve is open. So now we have gas to our solenoid valve. Um, Shah's now going to just uh, switch on all of the uh, gas supply. Um, get everything here going and uh, just going to check the gas leaks etc just to show on a new installation exactly what we got we're just double checking everything make sure we've got everything all all in order everything's fine and down past the solenoid valve and then we can switch the main gas supply on. So we're just going to finish our final gas check, check in any of the fittings, any of the leaks that may have occurred during the installation. Everything seems fine. Perfect. So we switch the uh, supply onto the ovens. Uh, Shah's going to put the electrical uh, socket on for the uh, for the oven as well. And then you can see shortly when we put that on, we've actually got a little um, 
got a little red neon there that actually shows you that there's power coming through to the oven. So we're all good to go. So uh, switch her on, shall? So we're just going to increase the uh, temperature here. So we're putting the temperature up to 260. You just use the up and down arrow. And then we'll also, if you notice here with the oven, the uh, belt, we need to change the belt direction because we need to change it from um, left to right. And Shah is just going to go into the controller now. And underneath the L there is a soft button. So we have to push the uh, soft button in and the up and, to, up and down arrows at the same time. Just push and hold them for about three seconds. There we go. 40, uh, what 40 means is the actual length of the oven. So we've got a 3240. Three minute is just a, a low setting. The fastest it will be, uh, could be run at. And then the next one, keep going. Uh, so we've got 130 in actual fact I've done that wrong 130 is the lowest fastest speed 130 push again 17 minutes is the most and then the next one so number one is this current belt direction if we push this to two and then we continue to go through keep going sharp that's it no that's fine yeah and then that's it we're locked in and the belt direction will go in the opposite direction so everything's fine so the oven's lit, um, just switch the oven on, it's actually lit and she's just uh, quickly increased in temperature. 250 shown and there's our set temperature and she's just rising up. Six minutes of belt speed on this and uh, shows you the inside of the control box. Um, everything going on there, we have an optical flame sensor brushless motor, conveyor motor, our multi-valve, quiet fire burner, over there's the high limit switch inside the, through the uh, two black wires there, transformer, power supply board, uh, cool down timer, uh, ignition module, uh, cooling fan, the back of the actual uh, fuses, on off switch and um, conveyor controller. And that's basically it just to show you there that's where the operation manual can go and just pop that in there and that's just left in there for a future engineer or anybody who wants to have a look at the oven and that's us done thank you